I'm really excited to be here to talk about uh, uh, AI and uh, what we do at Atlas Club. Okay. Uh, I still remember like uh, I started uh, writing programs, software programs. Okay. It was a Hello World program. Every day I used to look into the screen and say, wow, the program that I wrote was executing successfully. Right? But if I look at today, like the agents are telling me hello. When I go, when I start my work, the agents, the AI agents comes and tells me that hello. And they, they even can write the program. They, they even can tell me what all the things I need to do for the day. So things are evolving a lot. Things are going very, very fast. Uh, so if I, now if I go into the program itself, okay, uh, we used to write a lot of uh, rules. When you start writing the program, we write rules, right? We write flows. Basically, do this, do this, if something happens, do that, right? So we write a lot of flows. And we ship this as an executable binaries. Okay. But I'm looking back in 2005, and then the that got a little bit changed. Okay. Then we started writing, putting all those uh, rules, some of the very common rules, into libraries, into frameworks. Okay. And again, we used a lot of libraries and frameworks, and then we created our programs and shipped it as an executable. But if you look into today with all these AI, there is no execute. We are not sending executables or binaries to our customers. We are sending probabilities. Okay, we are sending weights. Okay, so the whole paradigm of the software development has changed with AI. Okay, that is very very important. Okay, because all the tool sets that we use, all the governance that we had. Okay. All the frameworks that we use for software is changing with AI. Uh, so uh, today, if you look at it, when you are shifting a model, basically what happens is uh, uh, the model has the intelligence. Earlier, your software code has the intelligence. Now, if you look at it, the model has the intelligence. It is purely based on the data it has. It is purely based on the policies that have been Supplied to the models. It is purely based on uh, all the uh, uh, prompts that we do. So the software paradigm has totally changed with, with the AI, with the models. Now, coming a little bit, see, we all know about AI inferencing models, all those things, right? Now, the newer trend is agents. Now, what is an agent? What is an AI agent? A agent is basically a, a piece of program that will that will run. It will analyze your uh, uh, requirements. It will create actions. It will execute the actions. Right? So it will do everything by itself. All you have to do is say yes or no, move forward or not. So with, with this kind of things, the platforms are changing more drastically. So you don't have to, like, like uh, we all look into messages, we all send emails, right? But how many of you know that uh, agents can read your email and uh, the same agent can write, respond to your email too? So in future, I, uh, I'm not, uh, uh, I'm, uh, I'm very confident that uh, agents are sending emails back and forth without the human intervention. So that is what the landscape of agents, AI agents are going to be. In the future. Uh, and now, now we talked about all this evolution, right? And there are a lot of players behind this. Okay? If you look into it, there are different kinds of use cases. Okay? When you are talking about a model or inferencing, there are different use cases. We all know about chat GPT, right? Uh, they all, the chat GPT primarily belongs to something called a reasoning model, okay? When you ask some question, it will think about it, it will give you a response. It is a reasoning. Right? And uh, there are other models. Nowadays, you all talk, we all know about uh, AI, when I tell something, it will generate an image. 
Okay. For example, the previous screen, the image was created by a AI, not by me. All right. Uh, so if you turn something to the agent, it will automatically create an image for you. That is another use case. If you tell an agent saying uh, create a video for this kind of a scenario, okay, your favorite Disney movie, right, will probably will be uh, created by an agent in the very future. So all these things are done by the agents. Even the coding, right, the code that software development that we do is also being written by the, by the agent itself. And there are quite a few players over here. If you look at it, like Anthropic, we all know about Anthropic, uh, uh, they are a Texas based company, uh, OpenAI, Gemini, DHC. There are a lot of vendors or a lot of uh, builders over there, model builders. Uh, and then we also talked about a lot of agents. The agents can be a domain specific, it can be a government specific, it can be an finance specific agent, it can be a manufacturing specific agent, real estate agent. So there are different kinds of agents. How do you run all these agents in a unified way? If it is software, we know that uh, uh, we, we have built policies, we have built rules for the last 20, 30 years, right? But with these models, how are you going to run these things in a very, very safe, uh, uh, with the proper boundary conditions. Uh, the same, see, if you, if you are running a software, you will be thinking about cost, right? You will be thinking about budget. You will be thinking about security. You will be thinking about performance. You will be thinking about scalability. Hey, what happens if one data center goes down? How do you make sure your services are going to run? All these things are applicable to models as well. Okay, the same software issues that you, we were trying to solve for the last 30 years, we will continue to have it with the models as well, with the agents as well. So what, what we need is a very, very scalable platform to run your models. That is what Atlas Cloud is all about. Uh, just want to give a brief intro about Atlas Cloud. Uh, 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 Atlas Cloud is part of a holding company called DCB Digital, founded by our founder uh, Jerry Tang. Uh, he, is an, uh, uh, he brings in basically both uh, uh, an engineering and a business perspective. He is from a financial background. Uh, he started the DCB Digital back in uh, 2021. After that holding company, he has multi uh, multiple companies. One of them is DCB Digital. DCB Digital is basically a data center company. We have a lot of data centers around the US, we manage a lot of data centers. Uh, one among them uh, uh, is uh, one of the states is Texas. We are very proud to say that. So, uh, uh, we will, uh, uh, as a part of uh, uh, Tiger TC, we manage the data centers for the AI. Uh, coming back to Atlas Cloud, Atlas Cloud is basically a platform. Uh, uh, that manages uh, uh, model inferencing, uh, model training, and agents for agentic workflows. Uh, enterprises can uh, uh, enterprises can uh, use our platform to run their experiments. Okay, and uh, basically, if you want to do some trial and error on agents using agents, they can use Atlas Cloud's uh, Playground feature. So using the playground, they can do trial and error, and once they are happy with it, they can either use the playground feature to deploy it to production, or they can use the server bus. We support more than 200 plus models. Uh, the models can be, some of them are that were only released uh, less than a week back. So all the latest and greatest models we support uh, part of the platform. Uh, part of the playground platform, uh, and with, I mean, it is very easy to use. It's a, like it, sorry, uh, and it is very easy to use. Like, uh, uh, how many of you uh, uh, have used OpenAI ChatGPT through programs? Probably one or two. Okay. Uh, so, see, like when, when yeah, a lot of people are using the ChatGPT UI, right? 
Right? Uh, uh, UA is one thing, but uh, most of the enterprises, what they do is they use programs to talk to chat GPT. Okay? Uh, the UI, it looks very similar. If you use chat GPT, then using Atlas Cloud platform, it's going to be almost the same. Okay, you will not see any difference. But if you are using a program, then you need to do very, very minimalistic three steps. One is basically take the API key and then change the, instead of using chat GPT URL, use Atlas Cloud URL and then run the program. So it is very, very simple uh, uh, to, if you are using uh, 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 chat GPT or any other uh, uh, AWS bedrock or any other uh, framework, it's easy to use Atlas Cloud. Uh, again, uh, there, there are different models. We talked about different models, right? Um, some of the models are from the model builders, but oftentimes what happens is uh, you, uh, you, uh, you you take a model, you train the model, okay, and then you reuse it for your own purpose. So Atlas Cloud Platform not only supports having the models from the public, but you, you can also use the platform to do something called fine tuning, and then you can use it on the platform. Okay. Uh, so not, not a whole lot of providers do this kind of, provide these kind of functionalities. Uh, we being a startup, very proud to say that uh, we are able to get it done in uh, less than six months, all these features. Um, uh, see, a lot of providers do supply these kind of platforms. They are called Neo Clubs. How are we different? We spend a lot of time in uh, tuning or optimizing the model. So let us say that if you if you run a particular uh, inference, it will it will consume x amount of power. The way we fine tune it, okay, we try to consume as much less power as possible. Okay. In fact, we ran some tests on deep sea, and we were able to prove that we are only consuming forty percent of the power uh, that is being consumed by deep sea, deep sea itself. So we are very, very, we, we make the models run very efficiently on power on per, uh, and improve the performance. Uh, not only that, uh, all the enterprises when they are using a model, they look for the same set of standards that they look uh, when they are running a normal software programs or all the security and compliance related activities. So, we are coming from an enterprise background. We know exactly what, what needs to be done for enterprises to use these models. Uh, so needless to say that we have taken in all these uh, functionalities part of the platform. Uh, again, if you will like, we, we also guarantee that our platform is 99.9% .9 of time. Uh, uh, because it is very, very critical. Let's like, say that if you're running a, uh, robotics uh, using our platform. We don't want the model or the platform to go down. So we make sure that we are highly available. We are, uh, uh, we are having a uh, very, very high uh, uptime. Uh, and like I mentioned basically earlier, uh, our, the power consumption and the performance are all very tuned. So we are able to, we are able to serve the same model at a very, very low cost when compared to any of our competitors. I think this, this, these are, uh, I, I know this is less technical people, so here I, I don't want to go over these uh, uh, bullet points, but uh, definitely we have done a lot of, we have spent a lot of energy in fine tuning our platform, <coughs> making uh, models run as smoothly as possible. So if you have a chance, please try our platform, atlascloud.ai, and if you have any clarity or doubts or things, please feel free to reach out to me. Thank you. Thank you for the game.